welcome back. So here I have a brand new video for you guys. Uh, this one was actually a bit more of an experiment using negative painting, which I love to do. Uh, first and foremost, what I did was I put down some masking fluid, some of Schmincke's masking fluid, which I have to say I'm really loving it. Uh, it was quite expensive, more expensive than um, the masking fluid I used to use before, but that masking fluid used to actually get stuck to my paper and tear pieces off. And so far with Schmincke, I do not have that problem. It does lift a bit of pigment uh, if I paint first and then layer, but it doesn't lift that much, so I can deal with it. But as you can see here, I'm just going and layering in layer upon layer in this little ocean scene. This is actually a thank you card for somebody. Um, I decided to do this because they did something. They did put they put in a lot of hard work to help me with something really important. And I'm not going to say who it is or what it was, but they basically saved my butt. And um, I'm very very grateful for all the hard work that this individual had put in on my behalf. And so I just wanted to do something to show my appreci my appreciation. And of course, artwork being the one thing that is something special that I do uh, that is of my own making entirely, uh, I thought that why not do something nice for this person to um, say thank you, basically. So I had the idea of doing this coral ocean scene. And uh, basically, I got inspired by a pair of fleur. Uh, she does a lot of negative painting uh, with like aquatic scenes and I love that. I think they're so beautiful. And she did one, I think it was a couple of weeks back, that also had brain coral and so on. And I kind of wanted to try it out too. Uh, mine didn't turn out quite the way that I was hoping, but it, it didn't turn out bad. I have to say I really do like this card still. Um, but I, I'd like to come back to this technique. It took a long time having to uh, paint the layers and then dry them and then I didn't use a heat dryer this time uh, like a, a hair dryer because in the past with my other masking fluid if you used heat uh, the masking fluid would stick to the paper and then tear it so now I used like I basically let these air dry a lot and then I I had a new hair dryer that basically has a setting where you can use just cold air and so I used that a little bit to help speed up the, the drying of the paint in between layers um, but it didn't really dry the masking fluid that quickly so that still took some time so between each layer of masking the paint and then um, you know having to paint a new layer it, it took its own amount of time, and that was a bit stressful. But in the end, it was still a good learning experience. Uh, learning how to do the layers uh, one by one, and how the masking fluid works, and how much time I actually need to do these types of things. This was actually a great forerunner for my Inspired by Pear Fleur video. Uh, so I saw it as a, a chance to experiment, and then also to make a nice thank you card for somebody. So in the end, I have to say I'm, I'm quite happy with the results. Um, and also, this was also a chance for me to experiment with my new paintbrush that you see me using there. Um, I can't remember the name of it right now, but it's, it's faux uh, squirrel hair. So animal friendly, because I don't like using any brushes that have actual animal hair on them. Uh, and the brush actually worked fairly well. And here you see me now using my new Winsor & Newton gold ink. I love that stuff. If you look closely at the screen in the gold, it looks like there's little ants running around and there are insects like writhing in the gold. It's so cool. I love it. Just that effect by itself is just fun to watch. Uh, so I decided to make a little goldfish in there and uh, some gold coral, uh, basically just to make it pop a little bit more. And then I also use my Winsor Newton Carmine for that piece of coral that I'm busy painting right now. And unfortunately, the carmine didn't turn out to be the color I was hoping for when I ordered it. I have to order a different kind of red uh, from the inks from Winsor & Newton now. Uh, but it still wasn't bad for this. I, I don't dislike how it came out. I just wish that the red was a little bit deeper. Um, but then for the rest of the corals, as you can see here, I'm just using my normal calligraphy ink and um, trying to make the fan coral have some veins and stuff in there and just to 
not make it so flat white as it is here. Um, but in the end, yeah, like I said, I really enjoyed the process of doing this. I love how it turned out and I hope the person who will be receiving this card will uh, enjoy it as well. And yeah, so look forward to seeing a, another version with uh, the negative painting and fish and in my Inspired by Parafleur video, so be on the lookout for that. Um, I actually love how that one came out, so this was a really good practice run for those two. Um, I actually did two kinds and you'll see them when they come out, so please be on the lookout for that. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching you guys and uh, please subscribe and like and drop me some comments. And I hope you have a great rest of the week. Thanks so much everybody. Bye!